Hello and welcome to another episode of Hard Glass. I'm Anthony Moore. I'm Steve DeVos. And uh, yeah, welcome guys. Another episode. And uh, me, I have I have a cigar that uh, it's a little sweet, espresso, um, velvety cream a little bit, you know, and uh, it pairs good with any, any type of cup of coffee or um, any type of alcohol or whatever that you want to drink. Uh, it, it pretty much pairs well with everything. You know, this, this is kind of like my second go-to uh, after the other one that we normally uh, smoke. But Steve, what about yours? Um, we're not mentioning um, actual brightness, correct? Well, since that's probably the one we're probably going to go to the most, honestly, mm-hmm. because that is my favorite. Um, we can probably go ahead and shoot out the brain. <clears throat> Well, um, or or I can explain. Yeah, it. just just as, yeah. All right, I wouldn't. I wouldn't. Let, let's hold off on the brands right now. Okay. The thing is, is that the reason why I would like it someone to adventure out because if we give them a brand, yeah. a lot of people will just hey, well they recommended this, so yeah. I smoke this, and I'm never gonna adventure out to anything yeah. else. So I'm like, I want you to venture out now, and don't go just off what. We're smoking, right? Because hell, uh, we keep telling you, but not us. Yeah. And I, the way we're getting our experience is venturing okay. out, trying right. different right. things, right. and if even if we come upon something that we like, yeah, that's our go-to personally, right? But one thing about this show is to, you know, uh, it, it's it's about the adventure. Yeah. It's, it's 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 about the exploration of. Test trying new things, and that's the way life should be anyway. Yeah. Just because I like one thing, I don't want to get comfortable. I want to venture yeah. out and, and explore new things. So that's the reason why I say this. I would love to, to say the, the brand, but a lot of people will take that brand and and say, hey, well, you know what? Uh, these guys are pretty experienced, and they like this brand, and I like it too, so this is what I'm going to... I was like, that's not the point of the show at all. You made you made a lot of great points, but I'm still gonna say I knew when you started laughing you were gonna say it, but I was like, you know what, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get my damn point in either way. <laughs> I'm, I'm still gonna I'm still gonna say the brand anyway. So the brand is Deadwood, man. Like I I, I really love uh, Deadwood and uh, my favorite brand, my favorite uh, choice of cigar from the brand Deadwood is the Sweet Jack. It's, I'm not favorable to a lot of sweet cigars, you know, kind of like the uh, Tatiana's, mm-hmm. but um, this kind of gives you that chocolatey type of taste to it, and it's a full body, or, or it's more so medium body, mm-hmm. but mm-hmm. it just pairs well with everything, and it's so smooth, you know, and, it, and it's still a dark wrapper, which you would think that it's a little bit harsh. But it's not, you know, it, it's, it's, it's just, it's, it's my go-to pretty much, you know what I'm saying? It um, kind of reminds me of, you know, back in the day with those movies, oh, I had a after dinner smoke or yeah, something. It, it reminds me of like a dessert yeah. wine. Hey, it, 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 it could, it could be. You know, this yeah, is something I, hey, this, this is just to end the day with. Yeah. It's, it's very relaxing. I enjoy, you know. Uh, it's, and it's, it's not too overpowering, mm-hmm. and, you know what I'm saying? To use the word, it's 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 unisex. You know what I'm saying? Like like I've had plenty of females try it, and they love it too. You know what I'm saying? So if you already like the smoke cigars, or if she wants to give it a try, this is a great introductory um, cigar for anyone um, who's just starting out, or somebody who is experienced and have never tried um, the Sweet Jane by Dead. I recommend you give it a try. You know what I'm saying? That's just it. And the drink that we're pairing with today, I'm going to say the brand too, man, because we we we've been dabbling mm. in in this uh, whiskey for a good little minute, and it's one of the smoothest whiskeys that I've ever tried. And it's top shelf, but it's not priced as if it's top shelf, which is very very surprising. But it's called Legacy Whiskey, small batch. Um, authentically handcrafted whiskey distilled with 
small batches uh, to ensure a smooth and distinctive experience. Uh, 80 proof, it, it's, it's just really good. Really good. Um, especially chill. You know, you drop a couple ice cubes in there, you can just sit back with your sweet Jane, and you just relax and, and just kind of unwind for the rest of the night. But yeah, I, I, I thoroughly enjoyed it. Man. But um, anyway, so since the last episode, man, what's been going on? Anything interesting happening? Hey, man, you know, it's, I'm, I'm enjoying the weather transitioning back yeah. to um, pleasant weather. Right. You know, right. Now, I, 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 so I was like, what, 70? Yeah, 76, it was like yeah. it had to be more than 70 yeah. at one point. But it it's, it's one of those things where I'm, I'm, not, a, I'm not a fan of a sweltering summer. I'm not a fan of a, 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 a sweltering, sweltering, <laughs> sweltering summer heat. I'm yeah. not a fan of harsh cold weather. This is just the, the, the time the of year. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and, and I like that versatile weather to wear. You can either wear shorts, or you can wear jeans, you can wear a long sleeve, or you can wear a short sleeve, and it'll still be appropriate. For the temperature that it's in. Uh, I remember when we saw that guy today at the cigar shop had a long sleeve shirt and some shorts. <laughs> 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 that's just I, 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 that's just I, I, to do it. Like, that's just the way you get, man. Like, I've seen so many people like that who have on a hoodie and some shorts, and I'm like, dog. It, it, that's not recommended. You know, you know, <laughs> you see, look confused, right? <laughs> so, so it's like, I, that's definitely that person. But, like, like for me, it was it was a great day to throw on some basketball shorts and some slides, whatever. Now, I like the Crocs. You probably don't deal yes, with sir. the Crocs, but yes, Croc sir. game all day, yes, sir. Croc game. I'm an alligator man myself. <laughs> you out here with some hard bottoms? No. Yeah, with what I'm saying, and when I hear Crocs, I'm thinking crocodile. I'm more of an alligator man myself. You know, I, I, I like see. the Gators. I don't know. I don't know where they got the name from. I have no idea, but I, it's just every time I hit Crocs, I'm thinking, you know, I think about it. I think about it. I'm like, yeah, I, got nice, I got a nice little pair of baby gators in the club right now. And, and, and it's, it's some hard water, but <laughs> let, me, let me catch you out. There's some jeans and some hard water in the t shirt. You get roasted words on that cat with, with the with the long sleeve shirt on. I'm sure. That's because that's, that's, that's you you're not cultured. Oh, 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 it's culture. It, it's culture. Okay. What, it, it's what, culture. What type of culture? <laughs> it, it, it's, it's, it's a, it's a first of all, it's a quiet thing. Okay, okay. okay. Oh, okay. Here we go. Oh, Here we go. All the people oh, with okay. immaculate taste. Oh, immaculate. <laughs> <laughs> immaculate <laughs> taste in <laughs> sense of dress. <laughs> what even Bob? You got style? I got plenty style. Oh, my God. I got plenty style. Oh, my God. It's not. Okay. And the okay. reason why you don't okay. know I got style okay. because it's not whippersnapper style. You know? You, your, your sense of style. Your say sense that, of style. Say that five times. <laughs> whippersnapper style. <laughs> you know? Man. That young Thundercat yeah. style y'all think yeah. y'all have. Okay. You know? It ain't okay. style. Okay. Just because I wasn't born in the 50s. I'm just in telling you. In the digital era. I'm, I'm not dance, I, I'm not I'm not dressing for You know what I'm saying? I'm not dressing like Steve Hart. Hey, but listen, listen. That's the whole point. See, dressing used to be a part. Okay. What y'all are doing right now? No, I ain't no ain't no y'all. What, what y'all? You've never seen me in no pair of skinny jeans or sagging at all. And you never and you never saw people back in the day dressing that. Prince, I, I know mean, some some some, some I first, know. Let me catch you in one first of all. Skin body. First, first of all, <laughs> first of all, where you get prints from in this whole you say, you say it back in the day how they, how they used to dress. Mm-hmm. They used to dress in them in them in the leather pants and the okay. Them okay, let me let me say, let me say oh, this. Okay, so the hard bottom you got look is platform. You all kind of <laughs> got a height pride. I see you short, but you height pride. Let me tell you something. When mm-hmm. I say back in the day, okay, what well, back in the day you talk? There are certain days. Okay, so. Tell, <laughs> so tell, there's Damn certain me. names you, that I'm talking about. Are you talking about me and Prince and Chef? Talking way. about the fifties, sixties, seventies, eighties, nineties, or the two thousands. Well, you go way back. I say up to the I say up to the late eighties. 
you know, there was different there are different there are different types of dress, but everybody knew, hey listen, you have to actually put some coordination and style to your type of dress. Not going out. now I say that the nineties I was in Pampa in the late eighties. Well I'm eighty nine, but well, well, I still and, I still, and, and, and I, you wanna know something? I still, I still you know, know something? Your style of dress is still in Pampa. <laughs> <laughs> no. I, I dress. I dress. I dress comfortably. Comfortably. That's normally, what I always hear. Normally, on on a regular basis, I dress comfortable. You know what I'm saying? Now, if I was to go out, you know what I'm saying? I got I got my jeans. I don't particularly. I don't particularly like to wear jeans because it's just constricting. Like I just like to be free flowing. Like I don't really wear jeans. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Unless I'm going out. But you want to have a Wait, 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 wait. You, you got saying jeans is going out cold. That's where your problem is, right? But see, now. But see I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not going out nowhere that's of any type of highly sophisticated, you know, manual. That's, that's exactly right. But, I'm but, saying, but, 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 I kicked off this conversation saying you have no culture. But, 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 but if I do go to it like that, best believe I do have my suit. I do have my dress pants and I do have my Stacey Adams. You know what I'm saying? But I can tell you probably on two fingers how many times I wore them shoes. And, and, and your whole generation is the same. Y'all will go out and cry. But, but now, when it comes to style and going to certain places like that, more things are accepted than which, which than, is the problem. Than, than it was before. Yo, well, who who's it a problem for? Which which is the problem? Who's it a problem the, for? The, 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 pro, the problem is the problem is. Oh, talk to me all the time. It, it, here's the problem. Okay. <laughs> you know, a lot of I, I think a lot of a, a lot of, of static or, or, or confusion comes when people are allowed to come as they are. But ain't they what they say in the church? Hey, Amen. I don't know. Hey, Amen. <laughs> Okay, since you want to go to church, Let me uh, my hand. A, 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 a lot of disrespect of the church has come because people can come as they are. Now, to get to go to church back in the day, you had to get up three, four hours early just to start getting ready for church because you had to come there presentable. Or oh, what, what, what was being presentable at the time. Now, you got. Reverend spitting out old people and wiping in their face for entertainment. But and my I, thing is that is that it should it shouldn't be a fashion show. Now now I church is always been a fashion show. But see, and that and that's the problem. Because no. you know, if, if, if 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 you go into church for a specific reason, whether which is is supposed to be getting the word or you know what I'm saying, getting you blessing or, or communing with these certain people of this certain religion. What you are particularly dressed in shouldn't be the main focus. Now, 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 I understand you still dress it appropriate because you are coming to the space. So there's some things that, that should not be allowed. But at the same time, it shouldn't be best based on if I wear a freaking suit every time. You know what I'm saying? Or a dress shirt and a tie. Now, now when I was younger, hey man, I was putting on the wrist. You know what I'm saying? No lie. My uncle used to make bow ties. You know what I'm saying? And this makes sense. Well, that's right. I saw some pictures of you. Hey, hey man. I had I had a different bow tie every weekend for church. You right. know what I'm saying? But now it's just like if 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 I was to go to church, I'm going there for the, this religious uh, purpose. I will, now I, I will dress appropriate, but I still may put on some nice jeans. Mm-hmm. And I have on some nice shoes and a nice shirt. And like in my in my later well, my younger years, like once teenage, you know, what I'm early twenties, when I did go to church, I always had a nice polo, you know, or a nice a nice button down. I rarely put on a tie, but I was still presentable. And that's the difference between being you just wearing whatever and still being presentable. It may not be what everybody else would be wearing, but you still look or being deemed as being casual. And the thing about that is, <laughs> the way I, I did hear what you said, but the perception is, 
you turn up for what you respect. You turn up for what you respect, right? Like, like people, the people who still get up, put on press suits, or, or the ladies who who have that the, the nice uh, uh, dresses with the matching hats and everything. But that depends on what they going, what they what they doing it for. Listen, everything is always fashion. But man, it's, it's not, and, and that's why it is not respected. Not because when you don't come somewhere, when when you can jump up and put on a pair of jeans and a shirt and go somewhere, it doesn't give it the same type of um, doesn't give it the same type of presence as man. This dude got a three piece suit, some gaiters, a bow tie, and everything. If 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 you weren't about what I got on to that extent. It you shows, missing you missing a whole point of what it shows how much you respect where you are. I get it. I guarantee but, you if you went to let's just say if you went to the White House, you wouldn't put on no polo. You wouldn't put on no cross. Because you respect if, if you <laughs> I'm just saying you're not gonna keep this baby cross. We're not wearing cross to church. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like you gotta feel the comfort. I used to dog cross. No lie. I used to dog dog cross until I got up there. And I put them on, and I was like, "Hey, no disrespect to Crocs. I just think that people wear stuff like this now. Even though I disagree with them on, the, on this tour, okay. when she's always talking about these, little, hey, why you got that bonnet on your head and going out? Yeah. I'm like, I disrespect to her for messing with people, yeah. but she has a point. Why yeah. you got this mess on your head out in public when nobody used to come out okay. looking like this? So, so." To go off of that point, that tends to rough. But I want to kind of keep it right there. Ooh, it's been a long time. <laughs> Why are you talking? Well, go ahead. <laughs> so I want I wanted to say, do you think that we have too much freedom? I, or, I, or too much freedom can be a bad thing. Absolutely. Where, to where, absolutely can. To where it's like, you know, it's hard to draw boundaries because everything is deemed as oh I can kind of do what I want. Absolutely. Too much freedom is always always I ain't gonna say it's always a bad thing. Mm-hmm. It depends on it depends on what your level of freedom is. Like of course, uh it's, it's, a, it's a lot of racist and, 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 and mm-hmm. white supremacists, oh them them them, them Negroes get too much freedom. So it, it, it's it's your perspective on what too much freedom is. But when I said what what you didn't say. That's true. It, it is, it is, but at, at some point, too much freedom as in okay, let's just say, even though I don't agree with a lot of things the government or state agencies do, right. at some point, people just can't be around y'all all willy nilly because even yeah, though that's church. you have to. Okay. And, and 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 that's what I'm that's that's what I say about when people, when we're saying that by style of dress and everything, but I knew when this whole saggy thing started, I was like, you know, this only gonna get worse. And what happened? Because at first it was just showing your your your, your uh, underwear line, mm-hmm. whoever made the underwear. Then, oh well, it's oh, just well. right. It, it, it was right at, 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 at the top of the of the waist, at the top of uh, at the top of the hip. Then it went, now these kids have their old pants down with a long shirt over it. But they're walking. A long shirt. Right, and it don't be, you know, like. And you got on skinny jeans. But that's my whole, my whole thing is like, you see what, when you didn't, when you didn't whip that in the bud. Yeah. From the beginning, because everybody, everybody was saying it's like that, hey man, I, I, that's, that's a little too far. Yeah. But everybody. Didn't do anything, and that's where that whole too much freedom comes in. You still have to have some line of, hey, let's everybody agree on this, and we go forward. But when you don't, oh man, you know what? When I was a kid, we used to wear Jerry Curls. Or what? I'm like, listen, Jerry Curls ain't never um, uh, uh, embarrassed anybody or made you not want to look at it. Well, they say sagging came from, you know what I'm saying, jail. Yeah. Like, like yeah. that was your that was your signal. Yeah, that was your way of, of saying I'm into I'm into this type of stuff. Right. But us as black people know how to take a negative thing and turn it into 
Well, maybe that's a bad thing. Maybe that's a bad thing. Maybe maybe it's a bad thing if you can take a word that white supremacists used to use, and then now you say it is a term of endearment. I'm like, maybe that's a bad thing that we can take everything and make it cool. Because honestly, sometimes people let you make stuff cool, or maybe you think it's cool. Or, oh yeah, yeah, I like, I, y'all made that cool, but it's they're still getting the same result as they wanted before you thought it was cool. So it, 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 it's one of those psychological things that hey. You know, agree with them. You know, make a like. like uh, have you ever, ever uh, did, heard that that book or that that tale you know, Emperor's New Clothes? I've heard of it, but I don't know how to describe it. Well, everybody, the, the tailor told him he had on the best suit in the world, and everybody was too scared of the king to tell him. The tailor just told him he had on the best suit. He was naked. It took one kid. And you know how kids tell us. Oh, yeah. The kids are. He ain't got no big clothes that he made. <laughs> He's naked. You know? It's, it's like that. I'm like, yeah. it, it, it's, it's something like, somebody got to be a kid and tell the damn truth. Well, it, 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 it's the fact that we know how to find this silver lining, but we know how to find the right side with the negativity or something that is deemed to be bad and kind of made lighter of the of, of the situation. We're fooling ourselves. Just yeah. like just like this when 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 NWA and and, and and all that came out and they started calling women bitches and hoes, I, I in my head at the time I said, Ain't no good gonna no come of this. And I said, Ain't no good gonna no come of this at all. But you see, black people said, Well, the white folks did this and then I'm like, listen, at some point you gotta stop comparing yourself to everybody else. Yeah. You gotta right. stop saying, oh well, the white the rock and roll band said that we ain't the rock and roll band. Well, well, the heavy metal band, we ain't the heavy metal band. Let them act the goddamn fool. That don't mean we gotta go and act the goddamn fool all up. Uh, same old old thing. If your friend would have jumped off the bridge, would you? Apparently we choose to jump off the bridge right now. Okay. And that's my whole thing. I'm like, there's the the the, the art of the core, which other races probably never had, yeah. we seem to have lost too. You know, I'm like, it, it was a time when black people took pride in dressing up and looking better than everybody else. Yeah. You know, but it's just that the core is, I, I think, I think in a in a way we still do. You in, know, in, in, in our own way though. Yeah, I, I mean, I mean, but but everything's always been. In our own way, like okay, I take I, I take this example um, on on our first pranks. This is the only thing that I can think about right now. Mm-hmm. Uh, first pranks, how when he went to the prep school, right? And everybody had his jacket, and right? he turned it inside out. Yeah, and, and this is like we're we'll find anything for us to make it rebellious. I, I wouldn't say rebellious. It, it's it, it's just. Our own sense of style and our own sense of of, of confidence, mm-hmm. you know. But then, whatever we put on, we're able to present it with so much confidence. And with that confidence, it catches on and it's contagious, you know. And yeah. and, and and as you can see throughout the timeline, us we, we're we're so I wouldn't say progressive. But we're so contagious. We 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 spark different things that push not only fashion but other things to a greater source of elevation. You That's know? true. But you, you know what we push to elevation? We push most. I, I would say, and, and this isn't this isn't some uh, research to anything. This is just my calculator. I would say not of the shit that we push. Yeah, these are all our opinions. Well, right. Like, so, not of the stuff we push and elevate and all that, it's entertaining. If it ain't singing, dancing, going out, catching a ball or something. But you know, you got black people all over the world who are doctors, lawyers, all this, all that. We don't push that. What we push, this is the first black person to win a First black quarterback to win a Super Bowl. I was like, who gives a shit? Only thing first black person means is that that first black person 
that none of that tricks were able to stop. If we want to be serious about it, first black person, that's all it means. Hey man, none of that trick stops him. Must be must be a different time because the actual first black people, they had killed him. Uh uh hung him, uh, uh, you know, sabotaged them. So when I hear first black person, I'd be like, so? A hundred years ago, somebody was trying to do this. It yeah. could have been was probably better than you. It's just at that time, you know, it was you know yeah. like uh, the little the, the little girl that uh, black girl just wants to spell it. I'm like, so <laughs> I was like, 70, 60 years ago, a, a little girl was beating everybody. You know what they did? Come, no, they didn't keep it on the hush. What they said, the way they got out of the competition was, even though she spelled the word right, that's wrong. Mm. Because when you give people power to do that, and you care about that institution, like we have black rodeos, black all yeah. black, black all, but we don't care about those. We want to be the first black person to, to, to do it in a white rodeo. I was like, well, what was wrong with being the, 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 the best in your rodeo? Well, that rodeo on your account. You don't respect what we have. We want to make it cool for everybody else to do it for them. I'm like, man, get the hell out of here. Yeah, because it seems like we don't get enough um, attention or credibility whenever it is. But who do we want? Who do we want that attention from? It's true. You know, because for me, as as most of us are, they should have been just found with a soul train award, yeah. a, a, a BET award. But what they want? Well, Grammy, they want to Grammy Austin, and they Grammy Austin and all that shit shows them every time. We don't want you here. Well, on a on a lighter note. Okay, all right. <laughs> I know what that means. No, no, no. Segwaying. <laughs> yeah, I'm segwaying, but I know that this, is, man, we can talk about this forever. But I do want to get to this real quick. Right. So I got five topics. I'm looking okay. for it. Okay. <laughs> so we got, we got five topics. And. I want you to choose which one you want to do. Uh, it's going to be something nasty, right? right. I know it's I'm something not, nasty. It's got to sure. be something nasty. I'm Every time sure. you say you got five topics and you want me to choose, it almost I'm always sure. is something disgusting in there that you I'm, know I'm going to gravitate right to. I'm not sure. Okay, well, well, well bring them up. Five. Five. Okay. So, <laughs> number five is, um, this uh, topic is, it's a toddler found locked inside daycare okay. after staff went home and the child was left traumatized. Mm-hmm. So, like, the mother, she gets off work late and in um, the daycare normally keeps the child until she gets out of work, blah, 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 whatever. Mm-hmm. But for some reason, somebody left the child in there this time. So, I read our um, A Florida mother. Arrived to Kinder Care Learning Center, north of Alabama, north of, say, Alabama, north, mm-hmm. of <laughs> north of Miami, to find her two year old daughter locked inside alone at 6 30 p.m. on Wednesday. Um, after lights had been turned off and workers had left for the day, Stephanie Martinez reportedly saw her child peeking through the window of the locked door. Um, in a 911 uh, video, well, 911 call, uh, Ms. Martinez shared with uh, NBC Miami. The room appears dark. Miss Martinez can be heard telling the dispatcher that she could see her daughter crying. Uh, she was able to push a chair up to the door and call her name. Um, and all the reason I was able to hear her said Miss Martinez. That was the only right way she was able to actually hear mm-hmm. her was from the girl call her name. So mm-hmm. the That's a two-year-old girl peering out from her daycare center. It's dark and it's locked. She's all alone. The toddler had been left behind when the daycare closed up for the night. Her mom, Stephanie Martinez, understandably freaked out. She was just 15 minutes late picking up her daughter, Ani. She managed to push a chair next to the door to stand on it and call for my name. And that was the only reason I was able to see her, is because she's shorter than the door. Honey! I'm coming, okay? Mom called 911. The operator couldn't believe it. Yeah, she's crying. She's inside by herself. Oh, okay, honey. How old is your child? She's two. She's only two. I'm coming, baby. Okay? I'm coming. When firefighters got
got there, they broke down the door. In a statement, the daycare center said, Nothing is more important to us than the safety of the children in our care. We'll also take immediate steps to ensure this kind of thing doesn't happen again. A little late for one terrified child. She's inside by herself. Poor little kid. The daycare center says all of their staff will now. Crazy old dogs. Uh, um, that was, first of all, that was a uh, daycare worker that was being vindictive. She was 15 minutes late, true enough. And I understand people at jobs like that, well, you're supposed to be here, I got something to do. And I know that was a daycare worker that was being vindictive and everything. However, um, and I'm pretty sure she's a lawyer. You know, that all of that is going to work itself out. Yeah. However, from me immediately, you think I'm gonna pull my phone out and start filming? No, it would have took the five part to to knock the door down. You know, that child is out there looking at his mother, her mother crying. That's probably what trauma kind of mama, why you ain't gonna get me? Yeah. You know? I mean and and, and generally even if even if the parent is like they normally call the parent. Well I you know said that was a uh, 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 Worker, that was an individual worker that that did that out of spite, thinking, "Well, the worst I'm gonna do is get fired." So, as a, as a, as a father, the kid did do that. Oh yeah, it, it wouldn't. Have, it, by the time I thought about calling nine one one, yeah, I already had my child in my hand. Yeah, and the only reason I probably would call nine one one is because, hey, listen, somebody left my child in here. Somebody's got to pay. Yeah, you know that's true. You know, that's the only reason I would have even thought to call 911. She thought to call 911 and film it. I'm like, lady, what, what, so, I, something ain't, so, something just don't sit right about I that to me. I, I, I wouldn't necessarily say that, you know what I'm saying? Because it, it's, it's, it's best to get it all on, especially like when you're dealing with this type of, some type of business or company or whatever the case may be. It's like, the more evidence that I have of this stuff going on, the better it is in the long run. You know what I'm saying? And and it was just reported later on that like the child can't even sleep in her own room. You damn right. Because the darkness for her puts her back in that. You damn right. In that scenario. But you know, if that child had a saw his mother picking up some breaking glass coming in that door, that child would be better off. But yeah. what did he, this child see? Oh, it's a locked door. I, I, I can't, I, oh my God, I can't speak. <laughs> this child like, oh, wow. Well, <laughs> I can't even depend on my own mama. So not only can I not depend on people she left me with, I right. can't even depend on her. That's what that child's trauma now is about. Because I guarantee you, if her mama had a different they can't do that that door, no, that child would have stood up both. I told you when my mama get here, but what happens when my mama get here? She she crying all the time. The child didn't stop. If you look at the video, the child looking at her was like, "Bitch, I know you ain't sitting there crying while I was stuck inside." Look at the video again. All right, so we got to number five. <laughs> oh, okay. No, I, 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 I wouldn't have much to like elaborate on that. You know, I mean, because you don't have a child. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, you know, and I'm I'm looking at this through. I'm I'm getting more fierce as I see yeah. it. I know I'm joking, but I'm really actually pissed. And the daycare worker, yeah, I mean, but that's natural piss. I'm more yeah. pissed at the mother. Mm. I'm, I'm more pissed at the mother because I'm telling you, mm -hmm. this child would have a different perspective if he had a, if she had seen her mom coming through that mother like Superwoman. But yeah. what did she see her mom do? Break down. What if, what if she wasn't strong enough to put the door down herself? Did she try? It would be a different thing if that child uh, uh, tried. I don't know. I, don't know. I, mean, I, mean, I mean, the video doesn't show, so I mean, the only evidence that we have is what the video shows what the mother says. I see that was an untampered with door <laughs> that, where she had on a camera, which means she didn't try any way, and that was glass. So. I'm just saying that from a from from a parent's perspective. Yeah. That you need to be in jail with that daycare worker. Alright, so so 
So don't ask me for my opinion if you don't really want it. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not. I want your opinion. So, all right. So we got four more left. Which one? Right, I'm give me, give, give me three. I know it's a nasty ass clip on here somewhere, but I just don't know what. All right. So it says ex go. <laughs> ex teacher. Echo. Who fed students semen laced cupcakes? Was sentenced to forty one years in jail. This is a black person. He said, "Oh, um, twisted, a twisted uh, Louisiana ex teacher mm -hmm. who admitted to giving her students cupcakes laced with her husband's semen mm -hmm. have been sentenced to forty one years in prison." Mm -hmm. Cynthia Perkins, thirty six, mm -hmm. sued Friday after pleading guilty second degree rape, production of child pornography. And conspiracy of many <laughs> harmful substances. Production because I do of, think semen is a harmful substance. Of child pornography and conspiracy of mingling harmful substances. I said that's a white person. Yeah. yeah. She has no possibility of parole for 40 years. Parties have faced uh, 72 charges of various sex crimes, 68 of which were dropped in her plea agreement. Um, as part of the deal, she agreed to testify against her husband, Dennis Perkins. Oh. A former sheriff's mm -hmm. deputy mm -hmm. was facing 150 criminal charges, mm -hmm. many of which are also sex mm -hmm. crimes, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. according to the indictment. Mm -hmm. That's 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 the I want to follow the law on that. Yeah, it's dark here today for Friday, February 18th. Who's a 36 year old Cynthia Perkins? I don't know what's going on with brother. I truly don't. This is the third that I grew up with. Okay, nothing makes sense. And I'm blaming it all on the press's uh, re re reputation. Okay, I'm telling you, the human mind in this era has been altered and is being controlled by a certain psychological technique. And I really think that technique is stemming from social media. Okay, I don't care what anyone says. I think you've got all of what you've seen the impact of the smartphone on the human brain. All right, smartphones make from values and beliefs because I. You heard me right, uh, Cynthia Perkins, uh, Perkins, Perkins, trust me. Somebody would believe they have to push burn the cupcakes and serve the kids. Because uh, I don't know why, for the life of me, somebody would believe they have to push burn the cupcakes and serve the kids. Uh, you heard me right, uh, Cynthia Perkins, uh, Perkins, Perkins, what they call her, was out here putting cuckoo spit in the cupcakes. All right, human custard in cupcakes. It is daddy sauce in the ding dong, people. All right, after hearing this story, you might never look at a delicious hostess chocolate cupcake the same ever again. Have a lot of orange in it once. All right, Twinkie, anything with a cream filling, you will look at it and wonder if it's man child or inside. All right, you will never look at anything with cream filling the same ever again. Uh, let's go to WBRZ ABC 2 for report, please. In a shocking development, Perkins agreed to a plea deal, committing her involvement in a child rape. But her defense says the real monster in this case is yet to be tried. The former teacher taking a surprise plea deal Monday instead of facing a jury. Pleading guilty to one count of production of child porn, one, one, one count of second degree rape, one count of mingling of substances. Originally facing more than 70 counts, the Attorney General's office agreed to cut that down only if she agreed to testify against her ex-husband, Dennis Perkins. The couple are accused of filming and raping a child as well as feeding treats tainted with Dennis's semen to her students back in 2019. What the hell kind of sick-ass satanic ritual was happening? Alright, so that was Charlamagne and Dante today on the, uh, on the topic. I couldn't actually find um, the news clip where it was talking about it, so I had to go to Charlemagne's uh, Breakfast Club Donkey mm -hmm. of the Day clip. But this woman used her husband's semen mm -hmm. to put in cupcakes mm -hmm. and then took those cupcakes and fed them to her students. Mm -hmm. And he was a former sheriff deputy mm -hmm. on top of that. Mm -hmm. Okay, so <clears throat> have you ever noticed that most stories like this are always coming, or, 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 or the acts are always done by people in authoritative positions, mm -hmm. teachers, law enforcement, 
Okay. The worst combination is when you get two people in a, in, in a dark cater position marrying each other, mingling their, their fucking insane ass, the devious minds together to come up with some new stuff like this. Yeah. So my whole thing about it is you always teach your kids, hey, this is us an adult. Then I thought you listened to him, you listened to him. Maybe, just maybe, because I do think our kids are getting smarter than us every day. Maybe we should stop teaching them that. I saw a, a news clip the other day, Governor uh, DeSantos down in Florida yeah. berating kids wow. because he's given up press release about the uh, coronavirus and berating them why y'all have on masks. It doesn't do anything. I mean, I, y'all need to take them off. To somebody else's kid, he had a bunch of kids. So he's berating somebody else's kid instead of worrying about his own little deep devilish ass kids. But he's going to berate somebody else's kid and make them kids uh, take off at least the ones that listen to him. Right. But it's always people in authoritative position. And I all have always said this, to be a politician or 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 or, or like a head of a school board or something like that. Yeah. You have to be a little bit what's the word? A little, a little bit twisted to want that kind of power and enjoy that kind of power. Because it wasn't like that all the time. It, it used to be hey man listen, I'm I'm doing this for my community. Yeah. Now people are doing it because hey this is about me. It's about money. It's the benefit. It's the benefit from thinking behind it. So maybe we should stop teach our kids. Hey, this you have a little coming. You have a little voice inside your head. Yeah. Act off that one, right? No, you. I talk to you right from wrong, right? And if you don't feel like it's right, then consult with me, right? You know what I'm saying? Right. Tell me come come to somebody opinion. you know yeah. ain't gonna, gonna gonna hurt you or is trying to hurt you. But these two people. Only yeah. thing I can get from the stories like this it's, is it's, it's always people in authoritative position that we teach our kids to trust are the main ones that know they can get away with stuff like this. And I would wonder how they found out she did. I can't remember. I I I, I can't remember, but but I think it's I think, always two devils turned on. I think I think I think somebody had found had found out not about the CD thing. They found out about the child pornography thing. Right. So then when they started to dive deeper into it, that's when they uncovered uh, this. Yeah, but that, that would take took a, one of them to turn on each other and tell it. Because there is no way yeah. somebody else saw that. And it's always there. One will turn. I guarantee they caught them on that. The lady, how she got down yeah, to one Yeah, how she got there. What he did was because she blamed she on her she, husband for what he could do it all. That's exactly <laughs> right. I guarantee that's the, the way yeah. they found out about them couple Now, you talk about psychological trauma. Wait till the kids. Now, do you think that he should be held to a higher account being the fact that he was a sheriff? Or, or should both of them? Absolutely not. Uh, uh, both, both of them were in the same position of right. authority. She right. was in just as much of a position of authority in that school over those kids. Even, even if they weren't in a position of authority, you know what you were doing was grotesque. Was 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 was. I, I don't I don't even have the words to really say what they were doing. How how bad it seems to to kind of diminish their their acts when it comes to this. But it's just like y'all should never get out. Well, that's true. Ever. And in 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 the Christian Bible it says something about where people say, Okay, well, you should always respect the person and, and, and not question them no. their, uh, their, in their position of authority because God no. put them there and if they if they use that power for abuse, then God will judge them accordingly. But my whole thing about it is it's time for us to start getting away from that. It's time for us to stop thinking that just because somebody's a president or somebody's a senator or somebody's a state representative or somebody's the, the, the head of such and such, yeah. to make them think they're any more intelligent than you. Yeah. You know, you, it's time for us to start thinking, 
Why are they in this position? Yeah. And I can guarantee you most of those people in those positions have done some dirt to get there. Oh, yeah. So, but we know that as adults, it's time for us to teach our kids that, you know, there is no way you can tell me, oh, well, my child can go on a, 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 a Girl Scout trip or, or, or a church trip with the group counselor, leader, and all. Hell no. Hell no, she can't. Because I'm going to tell you the one thing I have always seen is that whoever they put in a position that got leader in their lane is the one that's always the one caught doing the most devilish, yeah. devious, and look up scandalous stuff. And, and, and people are always, I'm so shocked. I was like, you shocked? For real? For real? That you just let your kid go off with a, a stranger that just because they got the title of Oh, oh, then you cast for a leader. And, that, and, that, and that's, that's, that's all that it is. It's just the title. That's at the way. end of the day, they are human beings capable of doing things like this. You're damn right. So, so just because they're a president, or sheriff, or a teacher, doesn't mean that they're or a preacher. capable or a preacher. They're, they're, they're above not doing these things that other, other human beings are capable of doing. They're more capable. Because yeah. you put them in a position of where so they, they, feel they feel untouchable. That, that, they, 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 you put them in a position where they're not scrutinized. Well, they they, get away with a they're a senator. Of course a, a senator wouldn't be involved in such a thing. I'm like, the senator's more likely to be involved in such a thing. You should arrest him before he do anything because <laughs> you already know he's going to do some of this crazy shit. But, hey, listen, that's just my opinion. I said, right. my take, you know, I'm like, anytime somebody, any, like, anybody, name one person that has ever been on top of the world and some scandalous has not come out about it. One, give me one person. Jay-Z. Jay-Z. Jay-Z that got his ass whooped in the elevator? Who you whooped about? You talking about Salama? Yeah. You want to know what that was about? Jay Z that has 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 been cheating on his wife more than, than anybody else. Now, I'm not saying that's that's anything, that's anything. But Jay Z, you talk about the dude that came up from drug dealing to be the I'm like, what name you gotta give Mah- me Mahatma Gandhi. Mahatma Gandhi was a nigga hater. <laughs> he called black people niggas. And and what what did our greatest what did our so called greatest leader do? I studied that. Uh, Mahatma Gandhi. I'm like, well, hey, listen, that makes me not a fan already. Prince. Prince? You talking about the, 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 the prince that died of a drug overdose? You talking about a prince that cut out of his, 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 the back of his pants and scooted across the stage? Luther Vandross. Luther Vandross? You talking about the Luther Vandross that never said he was gay, but the whole world knew he was gay? You talking about that Luther Vandross? But the Luther Vandross that died of AIDS? But everybody's right to talk about, I don't know why he died. Martin Luther the King. Martin Luther the King? The same person that stood on the Mahatma Gandhi? The same person that wanted to marry a white woman, but he couldn't. So he, he, he started the Civil Rights Movement. Not the Equal Rights Movement. The Civil Rights Movement. I just want to be able to have a civil union with a white woman. I settled for Coretta. She pretty. But what I really wanted... Was this white woman that they won't let me have? So I'm gonna need a whole crusade. Like Last one, Ali. Muhammad Ali. You mean the same Ali? <laughs> you, you mean you, you mean the same Muhammad Ali that his friend brought him into a religion and showed him the flaws in that religion? But he's gonna turn on his friend Malcolm X and go with this person that he didn't even know just because he said, "Well, he made this whole movement up." You just you you just one of his disciples. So Muhammad Ali went with the nation of Islam instead of going with the house of survive. Come on, here. No, no, I'm done. Oh, I'm done. Yeah. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. Yeah. I'm done. I'm done. <laughs> all right, all right. Get, get all right, it. All right. All right. So, 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 so basically, you can't, you can't give me one person. I'm just throwing out there. Right. You, you can throw out all of them. All right. Jesus Christ. You mean oh. the same Jesus Christ? Anybody can be that. Hey, sugar. Hey, this is what you're going to get. Hey, I'm having a good time. 
Hey, I'm just telling you, you ain't never gonna throw nobody out there. You're getting into the thick of it, man. Like this, this is what you're gonna get: real, raw, uncut, man. It, hey, hey, you will never throw a virus out there that the virus ain't, huh? Coronavirus. You mean the same virus that you right. thought was over, but it kept uh, mutating itself in a different virus just out of spite. You got to you never get outside. <laughs> All right. So we got at least two more topics that I want to get. I'm gonna choose. I'm gonna choose this one right here. And I know you see. See, see here you go. Here you go. Here you go. I was wrong. It's this. Here you go. Go ahead. This 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 sounds worth this damn uh, old old. Spit on the head. Yeah. All right. So, <laughs> man smears poop on woman. In the New York City subway station, in sickening video. Oh my God! Look at that. <laughs> Wait, let me. <laughs> oh hell no! Is that black guy? <laughs> Wait, is that black dude? <laughs> let me. Let me play the video, man. Man, I don't, I don't even think I want to hear this. <laughs> She's like, oh. You got you got the mute on. No, let me see. All right, we go. <laughs> My goodness! Oh my goodness! All right, let, let me let me let me find a video on uh, YouTube that actually talks about it. <laughs> oh, oh my god! You um, see stuff with bodily fluids and, 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 and instruments passing between people? That sickens me. All right, all right, all right. Hold on. In the Bronx tonight, a search for a suspect in an attack that can only be described as disgusting. That attack happens at a subway disgusting. station. The man threw feces on a woman who was waiting for a train and then took off. That horrified victim today talked to Eyewitness News reporter Stefan Kent. It is an attack on the subway, so vile, so disgusting. There are a few words to describe the indecency. In this video released by the NYPD, you see a man take something out of a bag, that something, human feces, which he then throws and rubs on a woman's face. No apparent motive. That woman says she was attacked out of nowhere. Speaking in Spanish, the victim, who did not want to be identified, says her assailant spread it all over her face and into her hair. She says she was sitting on a bench on her phone when she was struck. It happened so quickly, she didn't realize what had happened until after he fled. Police it happened last Monday, February 21st, around 5.15 p.m., on the southbound platform of the East 241st Street subway station in the Bronx. The victim says two days after she was attacked here, she was harassed and followed by another man on the train in Brooklyn. In that incident, she said other riders were on board to help keep her safe. The mayor today saying incidents like this reinforce the need for a focus on how to address mental illness. And a week after a subway safety plan went into effect, he's ready to make some tweaks. I'm sitting down uh, t- tomorrow uh, to do an evaluation. I went out yesterday uh, at some of the subway stations and talked to the officers on the ground to ask them their pros and cons, what could we be doing differently. As for the victim in the Bronx, she's hoping the marriage plan to curb crime on the subway will work. All right. See your thoughts. Okay, first of all, I was gonna ask you, see, you know, that that right there will make sure I don't eat dinner tonight. But other than that, if you telling me that this shit was random, you out of your damn mind. So this dude, oh man, this this dude walks by her and just smears excrement. <laughs> in her face all over and calmly walks away. The next day, another dude They say flee. He don't even really flee. He, he, he walks out casually. He, he, he walk. Who carries around a bag full of shit? Exactly. So he had he had a bag full of shit walking around with it and he got to this woman and then he decided, no, this was planned and 
and the dude that was messing with her the other the, the day after, you ain't telling me that this woman no. ain't did something to somebody. I'm gonna look at her husband, the first uh, suspect number one. But I'm telling you, these dudes are she's sitting there by herself. No, he he. It, it, it actually comes out later on that like he's he's been charged with doing other criminalist stuff, sort of like this. But but I the way but the way the laws are in New York, um, if you're not able to to get off on on bond or something like that, pretty much you're you're released for like little stuff like this. So he keeps going to jail. Well, right? because jail's too quiet. But then but then he keeps getting out. Hold on. Hold on. And I, then I can guarantee you he ain't never did this. I don't know. He ain't never did this. I don't and, know. and if if they know that if they you know that research. Uh, right. if you know that he, he's been done little stuff like that, whoever paid him to do that knew he would have been in jail for little stuff like this, for stuff like this. And they didn't even get into the story about the next dude the next day that did. Have, have you got into that? They didn't, they didn't do that. But they were harassing her. They were harassing her. So, so you telling me the same woman, two days in a row, being harassed for nothing? I rode I rode the subway in New York. We went to uh, okay. We went to Long Island. And did anybody smear shit in your face? <laughs> no, nobody even bothered me. Like, like that's it's, exactly it's right. Calm ride. People like, demonize New York subways and all that. I'm gonna tell you the honest truth. I never felt safe. Everybody's just minding their own damn business. I like Atlanta uh, Metro when you get on that. Hey, how you doing? Man, look, look, no. I'm just here to go to my I'm, I just, I just want, I just want to look forward. Get to, when the doors open up, I just want to walk up. Right. I don't want to talk to nobody. New York. Subways are just like that. I want to talk to you. I want to look at you unless I have to. I might bump up against it. Look like it's, 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 it's cloudy or whatever. But you mean on a New York subway, that lady, you saw the whole car was empty. Yeah, yeah, she was on one. Don't that look suspicious to you? Yeah. Don't that look suspicious? Yeah. And this this dude walking around with a bag of shit. <laughs> get the fuck out of here. Listen, all right, all right. I was born that night. What boy last? <laughs> Come on. All right. So last topic, man. Man leaves his wife in the car and takes business class tickets. I've seen this story yeah. and I still don't see the problem. So the man, um, the man is questioning whether he was in the wrong for upgrading to a business class ticket while leaving his wife in the car. Okay. The anonymous man explained that while booking a flight aboard. Uh, he revealed to his wife that he personally upgraded himself to a business class seat and left her in the economy ticket. Okay. And, and so this is talking in air quotes. So I'm the male, which is 25, and my wife, which is 24, um, are going to the United States from Japan uh -huh. for a month for vacation. Right. Um, and then we booked the ticket. Oh, you're Japanese. With this, no, no, they had. Well, I'm not sure what their grades are, but I think they just went to Japan for a month and then had to back to the U.S. Mm -hmm. They said we're going to the United States from Japan for for a month for for vacation. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, so uh -huh. so they stay in Japan, right? So they're going to the United States for a month. Right. Okay. Well, I still don't know their grades initially, but I mean, I mean, they could be Japanese. But okay. Anyway, um, so when we booked the flight, we initially thought that going to be seated next to each other, but I had the option to upgrade my seat to business with Miles. Yeah, he had over the head, right? Yeah. Pretty much, I just uh, explained it. So, if you had the chance to upgrade to business class and leave your significant other, your wife and girlfriend economy on a flight that is probably about eight hours plus long, mm -hmm. would you do it? It depends. It depends on what. Okay, so how do you know that if he didn't upgrade and use his points, he wasn't ever going to get a chance to use it? Well, let's just let's just talk on a, on a, on a oh okay so on a bank statement. Okay, I probably wouldn't do it. Okay, I probably wouldn't do it because it's going to be with some slick bastard sitting next to him for eight hours. You know, um, you know. So so it wouldn't it wouldn't be the fact that she didn't want to leave uh, alone by herself. It'll be the fact that nah, they wouldn't know somebody else. You damn right. Hell no. What if it's a female sitting next to you? 
Slick masters can beat me, man. I don't, I look, ain't nobody going to sit next to my woman for eight hours on a flight where I'm not next to her, and you know how planes are, and so, they strike up conversation. Hell no. So, 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 how about, how about like half the time? Half what? Like, okay, I go, I go to business class for, you know, four hours, and then we switch all up, and you go up there for four hours. Is that is that a is that a decent compromise? Nah, because see, I'm talking shit, but I, I, I'm I'm born pure gentleman. If anything, if I had known that, I probably would say, "Hey, babe, go up there. Here's an upgrade for you." Wow. But I'm a man. Yeah. Not 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 for a man. I'd yeah. be honest. That's a bitch ass move. But I agree. You know, I, I, that's just me. I, I was and, I was born a gentleman. You know. Some guys ain't cut from that quote. And and, 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 and and for me, it's like, okay, if I got the opportunity to board a business class, okay, I would look at, okay, so what's the price to get her into business class, too? You know what I'm saying? That probably wasn't an option, though. He was using this mouth point. But, see, we don't even know if he even asked or not. Which is why you can't judge this whole story off of right. just that. Right, you're right. There's a lot of... How do we know... That his wife didn't tell him, baby. Go up there. Well, I think she came out with the story or something like that. Uh, okay. She was okay. upset about that. Oh, she was upset about yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and, and yeah I was a big move, baby. She had every right to be upset. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I, 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 don't, I don't disagree. You know, because for me, I'm not going to leave my wife, my significant other, my girlfriend somewhere by herself. Oh, no. Hell no. For Hell me, no. I'm a protector. So it was like, even, even if you would have put me. In first class, if somebody's going to go up there, I would let her go up there. Absolutely, that's, that's, that's that would be my first. I would right. hate this, baby. If, if only one of us can go, right? And they're going. And now I got two seats. I can just spread out back there. You know what I'm saying? Spread out with with the seat that's available now. Oh no, somebody else gets that seat. Well, well, well I'm just saying. I get you. I get what you're saying. But 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 it, it, it's it's like if we can't both go up there, if even if you're on a separate end. You know, the business class, you're still up there. Absolutely, with, absolutely. But I'm not going to have you back there, no, because I wouldn't be able to. I, I, I wouldn't be able to relax. No matter at all. Well, let's not go. Let's oh, not. Oh, let's oh, not oh, let me not say uncomfortable. Right. uncomfortable right. But you're just back there. You're just back there, right? And absolutely. I'm up here. Absolutely. Now, now, as you say, we have a significant age difference. So here's the thing: I grew up thinking. Yeah. If this guy is Japanese and they were coming from Japan and they were just culturally Japanese, he would have done know it. No, no, J- Japanese men, from what I from what I understand as I was growing up, yes, they're women. You know, walk behind them. They're very submissive. They're all this and all that. So he in their culture, how do you know that it might be okay? Because they come from Japan to the United States. But they ain't talking about from the United States to Japan. But this story probably wouldn't have been the case. She probably wouldn't have said nothing if that was the case. That's true. That's true. That's so, true. That's so true. It, it, it's like, that's true. And he's you know, 25, you know, so there's no 25 way. 25 and 24. Yeah, yeah. So okay. there's no way that he's old and, school. And, and, right. Right, right, right. Right, right. They don't have the same old school traditions right. as right. you were saying back right, then. Right, right. So I, like, I get you. I'm just trying to, yeah. I'm trying to give him something because I'm like, honestly, yeah. as hard as I am, man, I, I, that would never happen. That, yeah. That's a bitch ass move. Yeah. I'm like, I would rather, I don't even know if you put me in the hole with the cargo. As long as my moment is okay. It's straight and say, and, and that's, and, and that's me, and I, you know, I can guarantee that you can attest to this too. It's like, I'm, I'm oh, a yeah. protector. Mm-hmm. First, uh huh. I'm a protector mm-hmm. first. Mm-hmm. So, so it's, mm-hmm. it's like me having your safety in mind right. is is right. my main right. thing. Right. I know I'll be good. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? I I know the power that I possess. Not saying that you're not capable of of uh, take care of yourself, but when you're here with me, this is a part of my job. Absolutely, it's, it's, it's Absolutely. amazing that you're taken care of and that you're safe. Absolutely. So, for me leaving you in economy. And not even say the economy. Me leaving you back there. Yeah. Me, me going out here. Now that anything, we have, any, just, anything that is an upgrade for me and not you is unacceptable yeah. for me. Yeah, because you know? I'm, I want to argue with the stewardess like, 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 hey, well, I can I mean, both, one of us going. Yeah, yeah. Going. I can both 
And either way, it's, it's still cheaper than paying for both of us because I got I got free upgrades from my mom. And okay, so how how much is it for her to get up there? You know what I'm saying? But um, and if y'all stay for a month, yeah. You know, not trying to count anybody's pockets, but if y'all stay for a month, y'all already spending something unless unless y'all know somebody. Oh, they go to the other Yeah, yeah, yeah. But but but, but here's the thing, honestly. Men like that. Wait, are they married? Or are they? No, I, th- I think. I yeah, 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 yeah. His you know, wife. His, his wife. wife. Yeah. Okay, okay. So right. if she's his wife, she already knew he was like that. She, she already knew he was like that. You know. Now, now, now. One thing I have known what internet and social media will do is make you tell shit that you normally wouldn't say anything about. Leave within the confines yeah, of your leave, home. Leave it now. You know, you know, you know because you're not, you're never gonna get a name. You're never gonna get who they are, really. So what she's doing is venting anonymously, but in, it, but 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 in reality, she lets this stuff go. I, 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 never, I never got that. It's like okay, if, if if I'm gonna vent about something, I'm not going to social media first. You know what I'm saying to air out what I feel is, but then get mad. If if somebody comments on it that doesn't align with your thought process, absolutely, and that's, you know that's, that's the dangers of social media, the council culture, all that shit is hypocrisy. That I'm like, if you can't stand flat foot and say it right, look at me in my eyes, right. don't say it at all. But see, people will take stories like this, and it's like, well, and you know, the me, I'm like, look, man, that lady been putting up with that the whole time. Why don't she? Grow a sack before and, and say, hey, listen, my name is such and such and my husband is such and such. And then you know she wouldn't play it, but she would get up nonsense. I guess, I guess, I guess this for me is like, if, if I had an issue with this stuff, I'm not going to go to social media. You me, got them right. Me and him, or me and right. her is going to have a conversation listen, later on. If this you know dude had, if this dude had the balls to do this, he's been doing it. Yeah. He's been doing it. You know, I I, I I I got this friend who um, posts stuff on social media, and they'll put out their feelings or whatever happened to them. But then, like, if somebody comment on it, right, right, they'll right. get upset about it's it. Key. And 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 if it's not if it's not aligning with the comments that they want to have a bunch of their posts, they'll be like, oh. Oh well, you know this is my page. Well, fuck you and, and get off my page. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yes. But 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 it's like you put it out you to put the it public. Out to the public, and the public you don't say what the public so wants like, to say. You put it out, and anybody's open to comment about it. I, I wouldn't have known you was going through this. I wouldn't have known what was going on unless you put it out. Which and, and it's like you can go to my social media and. There's nothing generally about my private life. And, and if it is, it's something that I purpose, purposefully put up there mm-hmm. to put out to the public. Mm-hmm. So, so I'm open to the scrutinizing no matter what it is. And even if there are some negative comments, I still leave them up there. You know what I'm saying? And I generally don't even respond to them. But I don't really respond to the good comments either. I just I just put it up there. I read it. And I still go, you know, I go on about a business. Period. People just want to be validated. This lady has to let this go on. And, and, and honestly, if you said anything to her husband in real life, she get mad as hell. But you know, like I said, different people. Like like you and me both say. You know, I've always any woman I've ever been with or claimed or whatever. I said, listen, I'm I'm straight Jay Z with it. You can be anywhere else in the world, but you choose to be here with me, and I thank you. Now, that's my whole thing about that. I'm going to treat you like a woman. Uh, is he? I'm sorry. I, I, yeah. I, I mean, because you look oh. good. How does he laugh? That's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to do it like that. But that's my thing. It's just rough. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I mean, that's that's the coldest line he has ever said to me, and it wasn't even a rhyme. It was just a yeah. prelude before he got. Listen, you could be anywhere else in the world, or 
Or you can be with anybody else as well, but you can't be with me. That's why I've always, whether me and, me and my woman are going through something or whatever, you would never speak to a woman that I've ever dated or anything that said, hey, well, you know what? You might have broke up for this and this. Yeah. But when I was with this my brother, I never wanted for anything. Now, one of the lines of Jay-Z, we can talk about Jay-Z really quick, that I kind of hold to memory is when he said, he said, if if you gain success, not even with the success, if, if you start to elevate your life and you don't change, it's so wrong. So so you expect me to get all of the success or evolve and still say the same. Exactly. There's something wrong with you. Well, you know what I'm saying? And that, and that's and that's me putting it in my own words, but that's pretty much what he was saying. And that stuck with me because we have this mindset of Oh, oh, you selling you out? Real? You selling out? Yeah. Oh, you don't do no stuff. Oh, you don't forgot that. where you came from. Right. What you think I was doing like, all this for? I was. I've been trying to get out this whole time. Exactly. exactly. You don't want still stuck in the rat race. You don't want still stuck in the trap. That's why they call it a trap. Mm-hmm. And you know something? It's part. Dang. It's a perfect example. Yeah, because it's like, dude. Perfect you, example. You are worth. You are worth less than five hundred thousand. Mm-hmm. He's a billionaire, mm-hmm. and 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 he was your right hand man. Mm-hmm. You were on top, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. but because you were so stuck on keeping it real, right? You let these opportunities mm-hmm. get past you, but for some reason, because of your ego, you still want to take credit. Like oh, okay, nice. he he was he was. Um, Dan Dash did an interview. Uh, Shannon Sharp on um, uh, what is it called Club Shay Shay. Mm-hmm. Um, he got a, he got a podcast. Shannon Sharp did. Mm-hmm. and they were talking about Kanye West. And he asked Dame. He said, "Do you did you ever think that Kanye would be as big as he is now?" He said, "He said no, I didn't. I didn't think that he was like I thought some other people would be as big as Kanye West is, but I didn't think that that he would be." Mm-hmm. He said, "But apparently." He's he's listened to me mm-hmm. closely mm-hmm. and followed to where he is where he is not. Mm-hmm. And I'm just like, bruh, he 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 ingested bruh. nothing from you. And this is like he may have took some snippets of on, course, that's on, on, on either what you did or how you messed him over to where and that's he was like, okay, cool, I'm gonna use you, mm-hmm. but. His success in his whole totality of it, bro. You, 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 you can't have even minuscule in You the, can in barely it. buy a pair of of, of, of Yeezys. Of Yeezys. Mm-hmm. But, that, but that's the thing. He, Jay Z, and Dame Dash are the perfect example of who kept it real, as they say, and who did everything they they could. To change their mentality from hey, this I have this opportunity. Let me get the best of it. And 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 it's like okay, if 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 you realize because I think Jesus said this. He was like he he said the street game and the industry is pretty much all the same. It is. It and is. Like, but you're not I able so. to take that street way of doing things and move it into a business mentality. Mm-hmm. You only know this one way. Mm-hmm. But. It, you can try to take credit for, for that, and it's like, bruh. And honestly, who cares if you try to take credit for it? It ain't gonna net you anything. It's not. It's, it's the only thing you, you that dude, yeah, I could have did that. You ever had, had one of those dudes? Yeah, yeah dude, man. I you used know. to, back in the day, I, I was like, yeah. Okay, so what yeah, do I know? Yeah. You ever hear people say that all the time? Yeah. Hey, man, you know, yeah, I could have did that. I, I just didn't want to. Or, or you know, if, if this person had to stop me, cow, or, 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 or you know, cow, you know, and, and it's always stuff like that to the point where I'm like, it's somebody else. It's always somebody Same. else. And my whole thing is like, well, if you was worth anything, if you really wanted it, nobody could stop you. Yeah, and, and 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 the fact that you know now, why haven't you used this? Absolutely, to your advantage, to be more success. Absolutely, now. Absolutely. I know. But 
I think that's a good way to kind of end the episode. Yeah. And I'm going to end it with that Jay-Z Brown that you just said about, you know, um, you could have been anywhere in the world, but sure you would be. And we appreciate you guys listening because you could have been doing anything else, but you're right here with us. Um, and with that being said, try to really monetize how or where you spend your time in your life. Um, because time is something that we can't get back. No amount of money can get you time back. You know, so try your best to plan, strategize your time. It's okay to have fun and just, just kind of throw something a little bit. But if you really have something that you want to achieve, um, somewhere you know, where you want to go, or you know, just have a goal in mind, Try to plan around that and succeed. You know, pat yourself on the back for these small accomplishments of waking up on time, getting to work on time, you know, getting a couple meals in or something like that. Don't just minimize success to something big. You know, praise yourself a lot more. Is there anything else to say? I mean, other than you sound like a Dr. Pepper too soon. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, hey, I, I think you said it perfectly. <laughs> hey, there it is. So, that being said, I'm Matthew Moore. Steve DeVos. This has been another episode of Garden Glass. Oh, yeah.